Hello everyone, my name is Spaceman231, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about flight uh, simulation flight planning on skyvector.com. So I'm going to be showing you in this video, I'm going to be telling you about how to actually plan your flights and also how you can get charts, including hard copies of charts to use for your simulation. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get right on into it. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out before we start the tutorial is that Skyvector, um, if you're looking to get charts and also make uh, flight plans, it's really only going to work in the U.S. Um, you can make international flight plans, but usually they have to have a beginning in the U.S. Uh, so you can, they can make a plan for you, but like, you can't really, it's going to take you, if you click on it, you're not going to get anything. You're just going to get some of the airport information. Some of it's good, but um, not a lot of it's probably going to help you in your simulation. But let's uh, start go back to the U.S. here so we can see what we can work on. And so, let's say we want to do a flight from, open up the flight plan here. Choose a flight altitude, let's say let's do flight level 340. Uh, choose a departure airport, we're gonna, let's say we're going to depart from, uh, let's do San Francisco, KSFO, to Seattle, KSEA. Make sure to know the I, I, ICAO code for your airport here. And once we put in, I don't know where that's there, once we put in the cruising altitude, it's going to give us um, a thing that says root of thing that says routes right here, okay? So some people, when they come on Skyvector, they'll already have a route put in here. They can get it from um, Simbrief or something. Personally, I don't use Simbrief. I never have. Um, I might look into it sometime. But I mainly just use Skyvector because I usually just fly uh, in the U.S. So you're going to get here, and you're going to go to Routes. And one thing that I like about Skyvector is that it actually gives you SIDs and stars rather than just waypoints and airways. Um, Right here, this it actually gives you airways for this one, but usually on like a long road, um, on short routes like this, it doesn't. It usually won't give you an airways. But let's say if we're going to, let's do um, KJFK, like New York, and then enter that. Let's get a new route for that. Wait for that to load. It's gonna uh, make some routes out for us. All right. But for a longer route like this, it's definitely going to give us some airways, so like this. Um, like I said, you're going to have all these airways here. So that's pretty cool. You can get your flight plans from there. Um, one thing is that when you go into like X-Plane, uh, most of the SIDs are going to be there. Sometimes they're not there in the Zebo for some reason. I'm not sure why. But uh, sometimes like it might be, I don't know, I'm just kind of saying this, but instead of it being night 3 on your RMC, it might say night 4 or might night 2. Or it, there might be like number differentiations, but it's still the same. Um, still the same, same thing. Okay, let's go into getting charts. So the things you can do is you can either hover over the airport here, uh, but it's easier if you're just doing the flight plan just to click on it. You have charts for everything. Like you have charts for everything, especially for major airports. Um, you know, you got your airport diagrams. And I'm going to show you guys how to get hard copies of the charts in a second. So you're on here, you can scroll down, let's say, if you want to look at an arrival, uh, arrival, which is a Bodega 2, you can have that, all your waypoints, everything you need to know here, uh, all that stuff's going to be provided for you, that's cool. Uh, you have your airport dragon, of course, your ground charts, uh, arrivals, same thing for, whoops, same thing for uh, Kennedy here. Have all your charts here. So let's say we want to go and print out the San Francisco ground diagram. Go ahead and click on it. Don't want that out there. I don't know what that's talking about. We're gonna go ahead and click on airport diagram. It's gonna bring it up here. Click on it again. Let's see here. You can press uh, save image as. Then I'm just gonna save it under my pictures folder. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm probably gonna just going to save it. I don't know what I'll save it as. You save it as whatever you want. But I'm also in, and then you can print it out from there. Also, another way that you can do it is go to airport diagram. Actually, I'm sorry. You're just going to click on the airport here. Click on the charts. It's going to open up a PDF. You can download it from there and then print it out as you wish. Or you can just uh, press print here and it'll print it out perfectly for you. So that's usually what I do. So let's say I want a chart for San Francisco. I'm going to take over over here, and I'm going to print it out from there. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, airports that I have thought of a lot in my simulator, like San Francisco and LA, 
I actually keep hard charts for those places, so I don't have to like go looking on my phone when I'm using Sky Vector. Uh, also, come on this website after you click on the airport. Uh, it actually has a lot of stuff for you. It has all your Uticom, your tower, your NorCal's, all that stuff that you need to know um, for your flights. But uh, if you're flying on VATSIM, usually it's not going to be completely accurate because not everyone's going to be online at the same time. It has all your airport uh, information here, got your runways, everything that you need to know. Anything you want to know about the airport is going to be here. But uh, one thing about Sky Vector is that you have to like make an account or stuff to be able to get fuel. So in order to get fuel, you're going to want to use uh, a website called Fuel Planner. Get that enter. Fuel Planner. Just the first thing that shows up here. Um, it'll work for X-Plane. It just says uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator here. If you're going to click on it. Um, it has like any aircraft you want. But I think what we're doing here is X-11, Zebo, uh, KSFO, KSFO, KJFK, and it doesn't have to be capitalized, it'll do it for you. You can either do it in the form of a planner or a load sheet. Personally, I prefer to do a load sheet. Yep. It's going to be here. And now I have all your info here. But uh, yeah, I was talking about just basically want to show you guys how you can plan your flights with Sky Vector and get your fuel for your aircraft with Fuel Planner for x 11. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to stay tuned for my channel for more x 11 videos. And that's it for me, guys. See you next time. Peace out.